Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are going to the planet. I've realized the past couple uh, episodes have been a little more on the, the boring side, so today we're going to go and try and accomplish as much as possible. I didn't know what the pl this planet's called yet, so I just named it Dusty at the moment, but um, once we land, we'll give it a mo pr more proper name, but I wanted to make an orbit marker so that we can return to it quickly if need be. Now, into the planet. We're now in P gravity. There's some incon bias. Had it oh. Gotta get them all antennas off here. And then turn off my uh <laughs> turrets they were getting ready to fire. Should be out of range now, right? Yep, okay. Continue falling. We're gonna descend nice and slowly. I don't wanna get out of uh, going too fast. Took me a good 10 or 15 seconds to slow down even in this gravity, so. We'll most likely cut to when I land, so I will see you guys as we approach our landing site. It appear I've named this planet correctly. It looks very dusty. But we'll turn it into our own private oasis. So long as it actually has resources on it. <laughs> I mean, I've got enough resources to uh, to build anything I want, but... So, yeah. There's no reason to set up a base on a dead world. It has taken a long time to slow down. But I think... It only goes to point eight gravity, so we're getting close. I guess I should extend my feet that I made here. Okay. Well, let's hit it. Six, seven, eight, nine. There they go. They're descending. Oh, we see ore already. That's good. Also, I think the Builder Repair ate the uh, unknown signal. Found a nice bumpy place to land, unfortunately. Or uneven, I should say. Let's slide back to where it is flatter. <gasps> oh no, I pushed P. Well. <laughs> I was trying to uh, disengage the landing pad. We'll see if we can control that in a second. Okay, we've successfully landed. Now the question is... Do we uh, lower the legs? <laughs> that looks cool. <laughs> Let's save our probe first. <laughs> I'm sure that's fine, right? Everything's fine here. Remote access. Oh, we gotta turn on ours first. Which we can do from the main cockpit, so let's do that. Okay, I tried to control it and it uh, definitely glitched into the ground. So let's pop that guy off. There we go. Well, we learned this is a dusty planet. Let's reconnect this bad boy. Alright, I say let's lower the legs. Can't tell if it's lowering, but hopefully it is. Oh. Interesting. So, some of them drag the pistons back up. Okay, well. Alright, my solution was to unlock them and retract them up, so. <laughs> Those legs didn't work, but uh, they should still be low enough to be the lowest thing to the ground? At least I hope so. Anyways, descend. 
Okay. I think we did it. I hate that you can get the dust particles inside your ship, because to me, it's a pressurized area. It should be absolutely pristine. It should feel pristine, but... Maybe in Space Engineers 2. So what we could do is a staircase. I think we should do that. I'm just gonna open up this catwalk here. Ooh, in fact, ah, there's no reason to do two actually, so we'll just do one. Okay, that should be good enough, right? Yep, I can jump up onto it, so cool. All right, well, I don't think this is where we want to be, but so I've got the problem where I can't remote control a grid that's connected to the grid I'm trying to connect to. But the problem is, is I set up that event controller to um, automatically lock it or turn off the thrusters when it's locked. Now I need one to turn on the thrusters when it disconnects. Because I think we need to take this guy out and check out the sights. So this one, when connector, uh oh. Where's connector disconnect? Okay, hope we'll just do ready to lock. We'll turn those blocks on. So now in theory, if I go to this connector and I switch the lock or unlock it, the thrusters should go on, right? And they did, okay. Sweet. We go back into the salamander here and prepare to go on our scouting mission. Well, I've disconnected the probe, but I don't... I don't think there's anything of value to do at this moment because it's so dusty. Can't tell if it's getting lighter or if the sun's going down. Well, nothing better to do than to do a little bit of mining. Look at that. The stone's got this cool color. Why is the ground gray? Okay, seems like it's the weather's lightening up here. So let's see if we can't take the probe out for a little scouting trip. All right, that is looking better daylight wise. And away we go. Yeesh. This is a pretty desolate world. <laughs> oh look, iron. <laughs> I forgot to put an ore detector on it. Cool. Okay, well that was a quick scouting run, but yeah, basically it's all the same, so. No reason to get too picky about where we uh, where we build our compound here. It'll definitely keep with the industrial theme because this is clearly not a vacation or high-tech world. So we want to keep it probably... Oh, I'm going pretty fast. Hello, Salamander. Uh oh. Don't crash, please. <laughs> Okay, we didn't crash. Great. So let's dock this bad boy. All right. Let's get out our little ground area first. So you can see I made a couple steel plates. <laughs> okay. So let's descend. Where I keep it pretty close to the base, at least to start out with. Little spikes to get stabbed on all right industrial but we're not using the corrugated armor in anymore could do some hazard maybe just some battered ooh yeah we're dusty I did call this the dusty planet after all spirit of Le Mans is just spawned hopefully we don't uh, aggro onto it Oh. Why are the building repairs eating it? 
Don't be mean. Come on. Eh? Nope. <laughs> Let it be? Let it be? Nope. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta turn those off then. I'm a little worried about the spirit of Lamond here. Let's, uh, let's go shut our turrets off. No reason to aggro that thing if we don't have to. Named ships always scare me. I'm sure that thing will eat us alive. And the worst part is I can't even run away. Ooh, let's turn you off. And you off. The goal of this ship was always to run away with uh, jump drives. If the worst should come to pass. But can't even do that in planet gravity. Things still getting closer. Oh boy. Hopefully we're not about to run. I'm turning back on my thrusters just in case. Maybe? There it goes. Oh boy. Our shield just popped up. I think it's time to run, gents. Yep, we're getting fired on. All right. Run away! Oh no. Rise! Gotta rotate so our different shields get hit. Higher! It was the Gatlings. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, wow. We got it. We killed the spirit of Lamond? Let's go make sure. That's so many missiles. Ooh. Love to angle it so the artillery turret could hit it. Nope, nope, that's a bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. All right, you know what? To heck with this planet. Even the Spirit of Le Mans, which we got there, but... <laughs> I want out of here. Which we're not rising. Have we taken damage at all? No, we're good. Okay, now we're going up. Yeah. It's been fun, but the Dusty Planet is just hostile and it's not very interesting and I'm good <laughs> I feel good about defeating a spirit of Le Monde. all right we're gonna turn off turrets to conserve ammo since that was a lot we're rising out of this atmosphere and we'll leave this planet where it belongs All right, almost out of here, out of that planet. Let's go check out the one with the rings. I kind of just want a nice planet. <laughs> Something that's fun to build on that I can stretch my legs creative, creatively? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's a good, that's what, that's a good sentence. Um, because this whole series has been corrugated gray blocks and I'm just ready to build something in a totally different style, like wood accents or something. Oh no, I did build. <laughs> I built that ship with wood accents, but, you know, something different. So now we got to do, okay, oh, that's Pertam. Or, that's the planet I've been calling Pertam. So I believe, I believe that, um, 
I can't remember where that ringed planet was. I think that's Reach, if I remember correctly, from Halo. Anyways, yep, we've exited planet gravity now. What I'll do is I'll probably jump towards Pat Pertam. And that should get us far away enough from the planet in order to, uh, to see the ringed planet. Of course, I uh, held onto the bottom thrusters too long, so it's probably going to take us <laughs> 10,000 meters to stop. In fact, we better make sure we don't run into any uh, asteroids. I mean, not like there's much we could do anyways. This thing is so slow. Let's see if it'll let us jump. Is it because it's too close? No, it's just because we're... We are still clo too close to Dusty. Alright, we've done a burn. We're going to head toward Pertam until it lets us jump. And then we're going to pivot and shoot towards the ringed planet. And hopefully it's not on that side. <laughs> we miss it entirely. Aha, there it is. I just got to turn this behemoth around. We can't jump, though. Jump drive is being really dumb. Let me jump! Oh boy, there's a reaver on the horizon. I have no idea who that target could be. Not me, I'm flying by. Havelock. I haven't even heard of those before. Going too fast for it, that's for darn sure. <laughs> bye bye Well, we can't jump away, but we're also moving way faster than it can, so worth it. That Reaver is stilling up with me, though. <laughs> we traveled like 40,000, 40 kilometers away from its spawn, and it's still on me. I don't have any antennas on, so... We still can't jump either. Hmm. There we go. Alright, we can find. Oh, wait, I could jump for a second. There we go. I'm doing it. Uh, we really need to slow down. This could be a mistake. We just jumped through the planet. No! Uh, uh, too many jump drives that time. All right. Now we await the drives to charge. All right, time to jump, so. Huh? Oh, why are some drives charged and others not even close? Interesting. I've never seen them only partially charge. All right, here we go. We do our little jumping down the range trick. There we go. Fire away. And uh, slow down the ship. <laughs> to the ringed planet we go. Bam. Somehow we got into point one four gravity. Anyways, yep, let's descend for planet fall again. Second time this episode. <laughs> kind of want to go for that green area. The green seems so patchy, but hopefully as we get closer, it turns into more sensical areas of green and brown and grays. Uh oh. We're not slowing down anymore. There we go. Just the angle I was at. I forgot to make an orbit marker too. Grr. All right, we're at the full one gravity, but we're not slowing down fast enough, so let's turn on our thrusters. There we go. There we go. There's more green and some trees. And this will be a great planet to land on. Uh, gently land on, I should say. Right now we're 
getting ready to smack it. All right, nickel and silicon, so there is ore here. That's delightful. This seems like as good a place as any. Place your bets now on whether I destroy that ladder on the bottom <laughs> when I land. Boom. Uh oh. Well, uh. Had a slight complication upon landing. <laughs> This side's landing gear was destroyed, but it did land. And our staircase is still intact. So yeah, not perfect, but honestly, yeah. It's it's about what I would hope for. <laughs> Anyways, let's turn off the thrusters here and then and then uh get to building our new base. Look at that. We've got high oxygen and warm temperatures. I'm very happy with this. And it touches all the way to the ground, so we can get back to the ship no matter what hydrogen level we're at. We've got a beautiful mountain there. Yellow fields here, trees, the works. It's almost as like the Earth-like, except for the fact it's got rings, which we can't see from the uh, the side we landed on. Okay, well we don't want Dusty. So what do we want? Oh, <laughs> I placed that block right in the shield and the shield destroyed it. Interesting, okay, let's go back over here. There we go. Okay, there's a battery on this base, so in theory, the build and repair, oh, shouldn't try to destroy it. Cross your fingers. <laughs> there we go. I didn't realize how perfect I got this platform. Look at the little gyroscope by the A gravity and P gravity. If I look up slightly or down slightly, it's right level. Okay, anyways, that sounds, that's really loud. Got a gremlin approaching too. Let's make sure turrets are off. I can watch a big blue platform being built. What the? Did you see that? I'm just taking damage randomly. It says there's no oxygen. Oh, well. Okay, we'll leave my helmet on then. Alright, platform's up. Let's build a staircase into it now. Oh. Guess you can't fly into a uh, bar like that. Almost did it again. Okay. So now, yep, let's grab our staircase block. Okay, not ideal, but it kind of looks nice. Ooh, maybe we could uh, connect it with some fancier blocks. Okay, I like that. It's kind of spices it up a bit. Cool. How's that looking? So I got blue, yellow, and black as my colors. Blue being the primary. Yellow, well, yeah, we'll, we'll change this coloring a bit, but yeah, I'm kind of liking that as a doorway entrance. Um, I do want to have like a landing pad or maybe even two on here. As well as maybe even a garage for rovers, but 
Um, definitely a landing pad, so let's whip that out next. Alright, what do we think? Kind of like how that turned out. Looking pretty smooth. Did add a little bit of infrastructure down here, mostly just a large hydrogen tank as well as the largest cargo containers that they make. The one that we, we've got four of those on the main base there, so that'll be cool. Don't want this to just be all luxury, though. I think we'll add a side area for some refineries and assemblers and whatnot, but that's kind of the vibe I'm going for right now. It's just like a, a vacation home almost. Okay, with the sun starting to set here, I want to show you kind of this side we built. Um, I don't know how to merge these. I kind of I like the door I made here, kind of a slower slope, but it's got to get up another block to match the rest of this. That's kind of my just typical build with corners and whatnot. Uh, I'm not too sure what to do here. We might do more cornered windows. That's probably what we'll do, but just want to give us a check in as the sun's coming going down. So I figured we'd. Go hop in the cryopod for the night and uh, keep working at it in the morning. But yeah, I think that's coming quite along. Quite little base. I didn't know I'd like that mustard yellow as much as I ended up liking it, but it's that yellow's originally for the hazard paint job. I don't think I even used that really. But either way, yep, we're gonna hop in the cryopod and call it a night. I just realized I don't really have a way to see outside beyond that little sliver there, so I was preoccupied. Maybe it's day? That seems like day. Yeah, okay. It's daytime. Back out to the base. I should have gone out the top door. Boom. This light in the yellow is kind of not amazing, but... I also, I just need color. You all know it, I know it. I need splashes of color on my build, so we're going, we're going Play-Doh. <laughs> Play-Doh color schemes. Uh, okay, so what else do we need? We've got a landing pad here that should fit pretty much any decently sized small ship. Small to medium, I would say. I guess large too if you count long ways, but I think a nice little, like, atmospheric miner, or maybe even just a transport ship would look cool on here. We've technically got two other sides we could do. I don't think we should turn them all into something, but... This might be cool onto, like, a rover pad. On the back side here. Let me, let me workshop that for a bit. Let's see what happens. Okay, how about that? Hooked up to the main conveyor system there. You can park it there and still have room on this side to just use it as a on-off ramp onto the station. Onto the, I don't know, luxury house, I should say. <laughs> let's build a rover now. I think let's, yeah, add something functional to this port at least. I haven't built a rover in... I don't even know if I've built a rover this series. Yeah, I don't think so. Typhoon has been, was all boats and aircraft let's build a rover all right here she is my exploration rover <laughs> leave a comment down below what you think i should name it uh but yeah it's pretty nice uh the back's a little clunky just because i had to fed in some hydrogen tanks there's a uh a next gen hydrogen engine a small one that looks pretty cool so i incorporated that into the front design um we got Antenna ore detector so we can detect some ore um, Yeah, that's back parts bugging me pretty darn good. So actually You guys write down the suggestions down below here. I'm gonna rework this right now Okay, much better. Yeah, I just made it didn't know I made it symmetrical I don't know why I didn't do that before because that looks much better Okay So yeah, now I just kind of have it here plugged in so it can charge. However, this base has no charging. So, next up is we're gonna make a massive solar tower. 
to power this guy. It's gonna be kind of a, a greener design than <laughs> that that uh, deuterium uranium monstrosity over there. <laughs> All right, with the light starting to fade, we're uh, about finished up with our little extension pad here. I kind of like how this turned out. I had just originally done the two on the side, but I was like, ah, kind of want a little more coverage. And adding these two points kind of added more coverage as well as looked cool. So pretty nice, pretty simple. I don't imagine it's doing a ton for power, but I mean, we can go look at our battery here. Oh, if we can get underneath it. Yeah, fully charged in four hours, which is pretty good considering the sun's down. <laughs> oh, and there's another battery on it too. Forgot about that. Um, but yeah. All right, well, let's make it day again. We'll hop in our cryopod. All right, morning time once again. We're gonna go out this door. It's the faster one. <laughs> the door with the crane. Oh, hard lag, okay. Got our solar panel standing at attention here, looking towards the sun. Shivering slightly, but you know what? It's all good. Let's finish off this doorway. Which we'll just do one of our traditional airlocks. Oh, this is not the right material. There we go. This isn't really a planet that needs airlocks, but I'm in the habit, so too bad. <laughs> All right, we got this kind of first floor completely in implemented. We're gonna fix the coloring here, but yeah, I kind of like how it's turning out, especially these like corner windows here and these arching ones, some of my favorites. I love that, it's amazing. Obviously the doorway to the lodge pad. Um, the windows again. I've been using some of these guys too. Main door, another one of those. This wall, these windows, more windows, yeah. I guess there's nothing really to narrate here. It just is a building. Now to decide what to fill it. But I think that's where I'm gonna call it here. Why don't you guys give me some suggestions on what we should put in this bad boy? I don't know if I really wanna do full industry in here. I kinda wanna make a separate building for that, maybe attached to the solar tower here somehow, over into this area, more industrial stuff, and then this is just kinda the residential area. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about progress this episode. We also built a, our exploration rover. Looking forward to some good names for this guy too. And uh, yeah, that'll be where we call it an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.